SD memory storage. I want to get up under here and I want to spin this uh, this water pump and just make sure. Okay, so the issue, from what I understand, the issue on these water pumps is at about 30,000 miles, they tend to go out. And when they go out, they take out the serpentine belt, they take out pretty much everything back here, the wire to the fan clutch and the whole nine yards. When it goes, <coughs> excuse me, and you're stuck on the side of the road and you're gonna get a tow. So basically, I just wanna make sure that my water pump is good. And so, here's the water pump. I'm gonna spin it, listen. I mean, it sounds good to me. I think what I'm hearing is just the water, the pump on the inside. It's not leaking, it's not wobbly, it's tight, and it spins freely. So really, what I wanna know is, and I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna go ahead and post this to YouTube this afternoon. And that's going to go to my uh, Palazzo group on Facebook. And we've had a couple uh, owners go through this process that I just went through replacing the serpentine belt. And they actually had to replace the water pump. God knows, I can only imagine how, how hard it is to replace the water pump by what I just had to do to get the dang serpentine belt off. But anyway, I think my water pump's fine. It does not move. It's tight. And uh, it's... Spins pretty free. It does make some noise, but I just think, again, I think that's the, the veins on the inside. But that's what it sounds like. So I don't know if you can hear that come through the video. I'm going to edit this and see if it does come through, but that's what it sounds like. But other than that, um, I think it's good. We're going to see. How this goes, I need to order me a new serpentine belt and do all this in reverse. And let's go take a look at the serpentine belt I just pulled off. Oh boy. All right, so let me get out from this wretched thing. Let's check out the serpentine belt. Let's, uh, let's do the old serpentine belt trick. And I'm sure you mechanics know what this is. I'm gonna turn this thing over. And we're gonna see if it's got any cracks in it. And I don't really, I don't see any cracks right now. Um, it looks pretty, I mean, it looks pretty good. It could be stretched a little bit, but I don't really see, I don't see any cracks to really speak of. But nonetheless, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it. Um, this belt has about 21,000 miles on it. And it's probably, I would imagine, we bought this motor home in 2014. I think the chassis is a 2013 chassis because you know they sit on the, well back in the day, they sit on the motor home lot for a long time before they actually built the house on it. But it's about a 2013, so I'm sure this belt is every bit of eight or eight years old. I wouldn't go any further than eight. But it's not really cracked. I don't see no cracks in it nowhere. But to be on the safe side, I'm going to... Wait a minute, there might be a crack. Nope, no cracks nowhere. But I'm going to replace it. All right, let me, uh, let me get this video edited, and I will go ahead and put it up. And uh, I'll stick it on YouTube. Oh, there's a few cracks, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, I'll go ahead and get this up on YouTube and uh, I'll post it out there on my uh, Palazzo group and I'll see what you guys think that might look a little sus suspect in there. But anyway, nonetheless, it's going to be replaced because I didn't go through all the trouble just for nothing. All right, guys. Hey, guys, if you like my video, um, I probably look like crap, but you know, hey, any of this is this is the real me. Um, if you like my videos, hit that like button, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I don't get that many views because not many people hit like on my videos. I, I, 
many people only hit dislike, but our, if you can hit like, that'll help, that'll help me out. That'll help me get some of my content out there on the YouTube platform. Um, doing stuff like this, I'm sure will help somebody on down the line. I literally could not find the video on YouTube where somebody was specifically replacing or removing a serpentine belt from a diesel pusher. Um, and these, uh, 6.7 ISB Cummins, they're, they're prevalent across pretty much any Freightliner, uh, the smaller Freightliner chassis motorhomes, not, not the great big, big, big boys like the, the half million dollar ones. They have side radiators where you can just, you can get to the back of the motor so easy, but these, these, uh, for lack of better terms, uh, lower end units, um, and, you know, they can be Tiffin, uh, they can be Thor Motor Coach, they can be uh anything really uh that's just a lower cost motorhome um is pretty much the same chassis and I, I i never could find someone replacing the serpentine belt or removing one so um it's the first time on youtube so anyway if you like the video hit subscribe hit like and uh that keeps me motivated to make more videos i don't really have time to make many videos i know i sound like a broken record i've said that over and over and over again but i mean for what few views I do get, um, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.